right now. Let's do the, Let's do the fucking intro. <laughs> Yo, you do this every podcast, bro. You always do this. Like you, t- you ask if we ready and then still don't do the intro. Like I was going to once you all said. Right, all right, I'm sorry. Like, all right, come on, do it again. That's the level ready. What's going on, y'all? Sam Fox, it's your boy Sherm, and these are my co uh, co hosts. I can't even talk. I'm nervous, man. I gotta restart it now. I can't. No, I'm just playing. Now these are my co hosts, uh, Alter Shino. Do the Austin in this time, just to... Oh, wow. <laughs> Must be a special occasion. Austin, you know, and Anthony, uh, as y'all can see, Long can't be here today. And as y'all see, our starting lineup today is a little bit different. We have Alex here, and we also have Zarvani here. Welcome. Happy Thank to have you. Have you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, so before we start this podcast, I have to say one thing because I know it's never going to happen, so I just want to talk about it real quick. <laughs> okay. There is a video of this nigga Ant playing the guitar that Sherman found, and I told oh. Sherman <laughs> that it should be the intro me. of one episode, but Sherman won't do it. It's the funniest shit I've ever I'll, seen. I'll do it as the intro for this one. Thanks. Because it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> of in my him playing life. guitar? Yes. It is I'll, the I'll funniest shit I've ever one. seen. This nigga Ant looked like guitar. Ant looked like a legit Disney character in that fucking video. <laughs> 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 like, this nigga. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I remember this ant. This is the ant we used to ball with. Like, Honestly, when he showed I remember me the that. video, I was like, shit, I forgot about that. That shit had that me was right after high school. That shit had me weak as hell. I wasn't singing or that. It was my niece and her friend, and they wanted somebody to play guitar. I feel yeah. like that's worse. Is yeah. It? Just playing the guitar, no singing. That was no, somebody's guitar. He just wasn't singing. They, were, was singing. Singing. Yeah, they were singing. All right, Alex. Well, it's it's all good. So, uh, <laughs> me and Mike, are, uh, me and Mike, me and Aaron are gonna be sharing a mic today because um, obviously we have more people than we have mics. So, we kind of have to divvy it up. Um, but yeah, you know, I heard y'all saying that y'all wanted more females on the podcast. So, uh, Alex is here uh, filling the void. So, she'll be giving first you guys a, a female's perspective. <laughs> yeah, she's the first one. So, congratulations. But we will have a female perspective on this episode. So, we're gonna kind of talk about some different topics to kind of give you both sides of the spectrum so you can hear the men's perspective and you can also hear the women's perspective as well so um no, i guess should be, that's a lot of pressure no, on just me <laughs> right? anyways look at her hey pressure's on Go ahead. but no nah, um so just to just to open i guess we'll, we'll talk about a, a specific subject that that i guess everybody can speak on is the the double standards that exist with men and women and hey cut that shit off bro no, I'm <laughs> no, I'm solid right now. I just want to hurt her. Oh, but um, no, no, no. we're gonna talk about the double standards between men and women when it comes to uh, having sex. Because obviously, if if women have sex, they're looked at as hoes, and if men do it, um, you know, it's, it's kudos to them. You know, there's there's a saying out there that a master key or a key that unlocks many locks is a master key, and a lock that unlocks to every key is useless. So. What is your perspective on that, Alex? And also, how do you feel about that double standard that exists uh, in in regards to uh, sex amongst both uh, genders? <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> that question was so long. Word. It was like two questions. <laughs> um, first of all, I've never heard that analogy used for sex before. For real? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I it's think quite that, often. I think that double standard is stupid. I, I, it, I would agree. It's a two-person act. Like, it can't happen without both people. And so it's dumb that only the girls get that point of view, I guess. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. Well, like, labeled as whores. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. And bitches. And, well, not bitches, but hoes, tricks, hoes, <clears throat> whores, thoughts. Tatiana's. All the above. There you go. All of those. It's all the above. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like it's starting to switch a little bit, though. I feel like men are Ooh, called man. whores a little bit more. Not, not me, but I know whore <laughs> friends that I have. And I'm just... <laughs> don't make... No, I'm not going to make I think it has to do with um, just a perspective of sex between... <clears throat> um, yeah, the perspective of sex between men and women. They view it differently. That's what I think. How? View sex differently? Yeah, how? Well, I think we, we're kind of doing it more for physical, and women do it, in most cases, more for emotional reasons. Okay, kind of, well, see, I would agree yeah. with you, but well, nowadays, it's changing <laughs> you got Megan yeah. Stallion, and you got Cardi B that's <laughs> fucking nigga, suck his dick, yeah, 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 Yo, that's sure. all that matters, like, I mean, <laughs> still I, his money, and then, yeah, you <laughs> fucking in, in, <laughs> I, I think mean, yeah. I think it's kind of case by case, though. I mean, you do have a lot of women where, so okay, so I guess 
what you're talking about more because there are women that have sex just to have sex however there's also i think what you're talking about is more related to like cheating you know what i'm saying like where a woman would cheat it would be more so on a, an emotional spectrum because they're cheating because yeah. They see something in somebody else right. that they, want they no longer get from you. Right. So now, not only is it just sex, but it's also emotion that's tied into it in the same time. That I kind of agree with. Yeah. I feel like girls don't cheat unless they're like done with that relationship they're in. Mm-hmm. And I mean, so so when it comes to that, do you feel like it? Obviously, it's you know it might be different for you, but do you feel like it would just be easier just to break up with them, or do you feel like there's something that's holding them together that would kind of prevent them from doing that, so they just kind of step out as a result? Or I think it depends on the girl. I think some girls are like afraid of hurting their feelings, and they mm-hmm. won't break up with them, which I feel like makes it worse. You should just break up with them. Like there's no point in cheating. Mm. Indeed. Okay. I feel I feel that. Okay. About you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. I don't know why. Take this fucking Dr. Oz jacket <laughs> off. That, that's why I'm fucking weak. All right. No, uh. uh he's like, it's getting a little hot in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot seat. No, I agree with her, though. You're right. Uh, also, Sherman, too. Uh, when females do want to go for like a physical relationship, it does come from emotions. For males, it's just more physical. Just due to the fact that like uh, like it's easier for us to I want to be like like real like raunchy on it, but like for uh, coming stuff like that, like mm-hmm. uh, stimulation. So like for, for sport, <laughs> exactly. So like when males like meet like uh, mess a lot of females. I say it's, it's like just like a, like almost like a hierarchy. Like mm-hmm. the more females you mess with the more you're known as, like, that guy. Right. But then the more, like, the females do the same thing, uh, uh, male does, it's complete, complete opposite. No, that's, that's true. Exactly. So then, so you, so now, like, and like for me personally, I, I hate hypocrites. So I never judge a female off how many guys they've been with anymore. Only because, like, if that's the same, if I do the same thing to them, they do the same thing to me. So mm-hmm. it, it's, it's, it's stupid on that point, on that, that kind mm-hmm. of, like, level. So... So, yeah, I don't think I, you should do that anyways. Judging yeah. people by how many people exactly. you've been with. As I don't know. If, if it's like 200, I don't know. I might have to be like, hey. <laughs> that's no. bitch that's fucking 200 niggas need to retire. <laughs> that's like a little egregious. Like, you like, not catch an STD? If that, <laughs> look, if you did that oh, without man, catching an STD, once. like, congratulations. As long as you're safe. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, absolutely. I, I, I agree. I mean, I feel like when it comes to, like, like being an adult, there's just a certain point where you understand that the past is the past. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was, about, I was about to say that next, yeah. Because, yeah. like, how I view it, too, like, whoever you had before me is not my business. Facts. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, like, like, whoever you had before you is none of your business. So, like, Facts. it's us now in the present. There's no point <clears> in going right. back in the past. Now, if y'all decide to talk about that, then that's on y'all. Yeah, that's yeah, something exactly. that y'all choose to do. And mutually. second of all, if you doing what you're supposed to be doing, ain't no thinking about an ex anyway exactly yeah, true, I true, true, true. everybody on that regard but yeah, straight facts i get that i'm just saying no love your woman <laughs> dick your woman down yo do your job <laughs> you won't lose her he's right she won't <laughs> cheat i don't know about some of these niggas out here eating ass that ain't <laughs> my avenue yeah. no. but <laughs> hey if your girl like that and you with that do what you gotta do like cause if you topic? don't eat ass somebody <laughs> else gonna <laughs> eat ass <laughs> It's some nasty niggas out here that's the topic of We talking about eating ass, bro? We ain't got a deep dive in that. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Hey, they already doing yeah. enough of this. Do, do, do what you got to do to keep your, you know what I'm saying, your situation Are you home. live? That's I am, so I'm about to show my ass because I'm on my life. Yo, <laughs> you don't got to do that, man. I do. Jasmine's up here. Hey. Jasmine? Kay Simone is up Case, here. Oh, damn. What's up, I said? What's up, man? This is up happy, here. To, happy to have him up here. Okay. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh this this notion of uh black men don't cheat. Oh, so that seems to yeah. be a, a trending topic nowadays. I've been hearing it for like a couple years now, so I don't know why it's just now revamping. But the song. Oh, he did make a song for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So so what's y'all's what's y'all's opinion on on black men don't cheat? Where do y'all where y'all see that going? Who's starting this? Go ahead, man. You, you seem like you got something <laughs> to say. So. Okay, I will say this. I will not say all black men don't cheat. I will just ones with dreads on. No, 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 not even that. I'm gonna break oh, this okay. down. I'm gonna break this down to a little bit more of a science. I feel mm. like black men born in 1990 to like 96 don't cheat. 
That's how I feel. 97 and up. All right, yeah. yeah. They some yeah. cheating <laughs> bastards, and I'm going to tell you why. Yo, preach. The cartoons that these niggas was watching, cheating. These niggas is going up watching. What? Yo, yo, listen, what cartoons are let they me watching? finish, <laughs> bro. Yo, let me finish. Y'all niggas cutting me off. Like, let me finish. I'll ask the question. Okay, let me finish, bro. You got to think, like, when, think about it. Because what year was you born? 94. Okay. And, you know, we born the same year. But, like, we didn't have shows, like, for instance, let's throw the big one out there. There's a whole fucking show called Cheaters. So, therefore, if you are watching Cheaters, you are learning how to cheat. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, the show is terrible. Every nigga up there gets caught. So, I don't know why you want to learn from that. Mm -hmm. But, niggas do learn from that. (laughs) You learn what not to do. Yeah. And then, but then, like, as you got to think, like, as the generation is getting you know, up a little bit more. Like, then you got shit like Adult Swim that is promoting shows about infidelities and relationships. Like, for instance, Family Guy. I don't know how many times mm-hmm. Lois don't fuck another nigga. Peter don't did this. Quagmire sleeping with 500 different people. Like, so it's like, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's a thing that's promoted, but it's, it's there. And it's like, it's something for these younger children to kind of soak up. Like, I don't know what, but I will say... I do not cheat, and I <laughs> approve this message. I will just say this. I approve of that Now, too. these light-skinned niggas, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I, I, stand, I stand up for all light-skinned. <laughs> we do not. Us. We don't cheat. Yo! But uh, after I say that, I also will say it's, it's definitely hard to uh, cheat nowadays anyways than it was back then. No facts. I know that makes me look away saying it, but it's fact. Everybody knows that. Yeah, definitely. Because girls will put your finger on your phone while you're asleeping and get in that phone. With, with, yeah, with social media and everything, is is really hard to even get away with stuff like that. So now, I mean, it's, it's pretty stupid to even do that. But it still happens. It, oh. It's still there. I mean, because you're human beings regardless. They're still going to do it. Yeah, that's They the still thing. have those, those, like, you know. My thing is, what do you gain, though? Like, with nigga, like, I just, I don't know. It's just me. It's like, nigga, we adults. Like, why even get in a relationship if you're going to waste somebody's time? Especially when you're in a relationship for two years, three years, I, whatever. Like, what's I the think point? It's, I think it's people's maybe, I mean, it's, it's, I'm generalizing, but I think, at least from what I see, that a lot of people don't value relationships as much. Yeah, I agree. They, If they valued it enough, I think it would be a priority, even if they had any pressures or they felt, like, any urges to cheat. They still wouldn't do it if they really valued it. Right. Because the urges, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say for everybody, but some people urges happen even when you're in a relationship. Like you you see a really good looking girl or vice versa. I don't know for girls, but uh, true. you still like you have that feeling like, oh, man, she look good. Like I would love to, you know, you have that the initial thought in your head. And then when you after a couple seconds, you're like, nah, but I never do that, though. Right. Yeah, I feel like um. And I, I'm not justifying it, but I feel like the instances that I mean, there's some people that just can't help themselves, and they're just something's wrong with them mentally. <laughs> but if that if that's the case, and you and you are aware, and you know that, I think you should just not waste your time getting in a relationship because you know that's how you are. And if that's not how you, if you're not going to change that, then there's no point in getting in a relationship. Like you said, waste somebody's time. No, but um, when it comes to cheating in some certain circumstances, it might be due to certain things, whether it be like. They feel like they're on the woman's behalf or men's behalf. They feel like they're getting abused and they feel like they can't leave the relationship. So they still, they'll reach out and do different things with different people and form different relationships outside of that because they feel like they're trapped or maybe they feel like there's no longer anything in that relationship for them to get from it anymore. And then right. they'll step out based on that. And again, it's not to justify it, but yeah. it, it's a little, it's a rhyme for the reason in right, a right, sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, like porn has a lot to do with it too. You know what I'm saying? Because like you start watching that stuff all the time. You start seeing all these things. You start having thoughts of different people sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and that kind of can sway your mind towards different things. What's your take on it, Alex? <laughs> that porn analogy. Is yeah, I don't. Mean. You don't I think so? No. I, don't, I don't watch porn, bro. I haven't I watched think porn since porn me and China got together. I think porn can affect your expectations out of sex, but as no, far definitely. as cheating and Absolutely. relationships, mm-hmm. no, I don't know about that yeah, word. I, okay. I don't know. I just haven't watched porn since me and China got together, <laughs> so I don't know. Well, I could say that um, there's there's that aspect too where it can change your like you know what you're into in sex, and like mm-hmm. say you're in a relationship and you see something in porn that your mate your person won't do, doesn't want to do, and you really want it. That could be a reason. I, obviously, that's pretty dumb but no no you're good I, I was about to say like 
Hello it's like Brown. a it's like a white dude in a relationship where you see some big booty black bitches. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> yo, chill. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say that too. Also, some people aren't they just aren't okay with having one thing. Like they may really love a person, probably not, but they may really feel like they love a person, but then they're them just having sex with that one person is not enough. Like they still feel that void maybe of like, oh, I want a black girl, I want a Latina girl, I want to you know whatever. They want to taste everything. I mean, but people now are having, like, what is the word, polyamorous relationships mm-hmm. and stuff. That's yeah, that and I feel shit. like, I mean, if that's really what you want, then talk about that. Yeah, and if that's that not what they're down with, now. like, go to someone else. Yeah, like, there's so next. many yeah, other yeah. options. Because, yeah. like, the whole, the whole thing about, like, the, the porn thing you guys are discussing is that uh, it, cut, like, it narrows down to communication. Because, like... Uh, like if like someone sees something on porn, like I want that to happen in my relationship, you gotta you gotta, you gotta talk to your like your partner. Like they don't want to do it, but like, obviously like you guys aren't meant to be. Not I, 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 I say, not, not say meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> not meant to be, but like Dark. she's on the same. <laughs> but you still <laughs> Dark. Yeah. Like, do you uh, yeah, do I, that? No, this is over. No, no, I'm not trying to say. I'm, I'm not trying to say. That. I'm just like but they it, still want that. Yeah, they but still like, want it even if their partner. Yeah, want exactly. It like, because the wall, it all narrows down to just, just pure communication at that point in time when it comes to relationships. Like if you can't communicate your partner about like how you like things, like what you want in your relationship, mm-hmm. then it, it kind of like at the wall like start like eating at you. Like yeah. I kind of want them, but she's not doing this, or he's not doing this. While I want them to do right, like just from like a sexual act, being romantic. Like I kind of wish you would like serenade me or like. Like cook dinner once in a while, like stuff like that. Like yeah, every that. now and then, like if if you don't like speak on it, it won't happen. The disrespect right. that you're not That's speaking right. on it. So communication is a big key when it comes to like communication. Like I said, just like based off the co- the topic about what you see in porn, you might want that. Mm-hmm. What you see on the on what what is it called H H L N like the little cooking channel. What is it called? Food like food, oh, food no. network. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like, like I see that like, I kind of want to Yo, that food. That, I, let me tell y'all, man. For whatever you know what reason, saying? whenever I turn my PlayStation off, my TV automatically cuts its cooking channel, so my PlayStation will cut off in the middle of the night when I fall asleep and I wake up to a cooking channel and That's just weird. get hungry. Oh, so right. I just want y'all to know, I really get pissed off when that shit happens. No, but, I can't get all the eggies. So I mean, and, and, and Zarbani, he's he, you are married as well, so you are able to speak from a, a, a another perspective that some of us can't speak from because we're not at that point in our lives yet. So. Um, you know what he's saying is definitely true and and is indicative of his experience with his relationship and past relationships but um and, and you know maybe this is up to for debate but i think porn could also work as a medium for you not to cheat because you get to act on your fantasies or whatever yeah. through that and mm-hmm. you never actually go out and commit the act no, that's so okay. i mean that you know you could you could take that into consideration as I well so i just feel like certain people you just have a certain I don't know if you got fuck it, I'm gonna just say well, how I'm gonna say it. You just have a certain flavor of what you like. Like me personally, I'm not gonna lie to you. Any of my sisters that's on this live can contest to this. I always said to myself, and Zonnie can contest this as well. Always said I will never date a dark skinned girl. Ever. I've always said that. And look at what I got. <laughs> Sometimes a taste of chocolate can take you a long way. Ooh. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it out there. Well, I was also going to say, too, um, that was a good point about porn also uh, making you not want to cheat as well or helping you to not cheat. Mm-hmm. Um, but also now times have changed. And I guess I would say it probably was a lot more easier back then without social media, without Instagram and Facebook of the temptation. And plus porn wasn't that accessible either. It wasn't right. even, it wasn't even free like that. You had yeah. to get a magazine yeah. or you had to get a. A VHS tape or something like that. So I feel like with the times changing, it also makes it even. That's how you bombard. It makes on my it harder life. for some. What you say? He just gonna bombard on my live like that. <laughs> you really? Oh, you, you saw, saw that? Hey, it's on, on my. Side. Side. Like, I saw that. Like, <laughs> niggas on my live. Oh, I know you exactly be watching it. What? <laughs> he reaches hey. down like every two yeah, seconds. I'm waving yeah, at people. I ain't paying attention, my man. Hey, you got a power bank in here? Oh my lord, bro! I'm just saying because the live is popping and they loving this, and I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's cool if you don't have one. Cool. Charge over here? Keep going, bro. Yeah, but um, oh, yeah, with <laughs> with no. time with it's times cool. changing though, I I definitely think anybody that's had a problem with cheating or felt an inclination to think about it that would make it even like harder time. for them seeing the temptation, the thirst trap, whatever you want to call it, on social media. I don't know. 
You don't know? It depends. I mean, you have to be somewhat interested if it gets you. Because if you have no yeah. interest in that, then it's not going to, like, do anything. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I just feel like it's like, um... Like, uh, I, I'm not going to say it didn't exist back then, but it's more prevalent now that women... It's not just women, too, but women are getting... You know, implants in her butt making it a lot less normal. Uh, you know, fake boobs and stuff like that. And say your girl just has it regular, but you know, you love her. You love her, and she has you know enough to like you're good. But you see that, and it's just more tempting. Like, oh, I wonder. Like, you never had nothing like that. You're like, I wonder what that would be like in sex or something. I'm just saying. I'm I'm trying to speak. <laughs> In the sense of somebody that's thinking about cheating, because mm-hmm. I don't see, I don't, but you have to already be thinking about. I it. know that's yeah. <laughs> like it's already it's already on your mind, so it's just I don't know. It's also a thing like you have like all these other tools too that I'll you can it. use to yeah. not cheat. Like I mean, they have all this exotic shit going on, like pocket pussies and. Yeah, this other shit. Oh, so it's like, if you really, if you really fuck with your, I'm just saying, if you really fuck with your significant other like that, and you got that urge, you better mm-hmm. spray paint that pocket pussy to what you spray want it to <laughs> to look like, and go to town on that bitch. Like, oh my lord, that's what, bro. Cheating is a, bro. Cheating is a mental disability. These niggas have problems. They have a problem. Like it's a mental disability. Why mm-hmm. commit yourself to a person if when you see another person, it's like, mm-hmm. damn. Fuck this bitch. Exactly. I want that bitch. Like, it's, it's just stupid. Like, it's dumb. That's how you end up with four baby mamas and on child support four different times. <laughs> looking fucking stupid. That's how that, that's that's where that comes from. I mean, and, and, and you could look at it from the perspective as well. So, say they're in a long term relationship, they've been in a relationship for some years or whatever, and, you know, it's no longer going the way they want, but they don't right. want to hurt their significant other Truth. by saying, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. It's not how it used to be. And maybe they, they're holding on to some hope that it'll change but you know it's not changing and then they just go out and do what they do i mean yeah. again not justifying it but i mean when it comes to these things and and human nature i think it's all conditional and it's all based on that that individual that just happened to and who they're dealing with some people they just like because i mean when you when you're in a relationship that long it's very difficult to end it because you're already emotionally invested with yeah, that definitely. person on both yeah. on both sides of the spectrum even if you're thinking about doing something like that, you still love them at the end of the day because you're like, I don't want to hurt this person by by leaving them completely. You know what I'm saying? Cause but you're facts, cheating on them. I, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. But again, if if they never find out about it, you know what I'm saying? If you never tell them about it, again, that's that's bad on your behalf. Yes, absolutely. But in the same sense, that's still sparing them from the emotional duress of breaking up with them because if, that, if you're that person's world and you no longer want to be with them and you feel like there's no saving it, obviously you could end it, but again if they you know how they are emotionally you know what i'm saying you don't want to break their heart you want to emotionally hurt them right so you would keep on the wraps and then you know who knows maybe it results itself in the future maybe y'all you know go to counseling maybe y'all fix it and then maybe you tell them about it but i mean I there's there's all kinds of conditions and scenarios about that oh mm-hmm. yeah i was about to get into that i think a, a lot of it this is opinion of course i think a lot of it has to do with uh goes back to mental health because uh, a lot of people, even if, say, even if you cheated in the past or whatever, I feel like all of us, we understand what the right thing is. It seems like all of us talking about it, we are all grown and mature and we've grown up and we know better. We, we don't see why it's even the reason to do it. But uh, I feel like for somebody that's going through there, still doing it or, you know, having trouble with that, I feel like there may be a misunderstanding with themselves and understanding yeah. why they feel that way, like why they feel the need to cheat or be in a relationship in do those things at the same time. I'm telling you, most cheaters, so mental health, mental health yeah, has most, most cheaters got mommy issues. I'm telling you, you niggas got mommy issues. I'm telling you right now, that could be a possibility. I'm telling you, niggas got mommy issues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, <laughs> y'all niggas laughing, but ask at all these ladies on this live, ask the niggas that uh that's been cheating what their relationship with their mama is like, and then you answer that question, do your homework. <laughs> niggas got mommy issues. Hey man, like I said, I, I think everything's is conditional. You know what I'm saying? Again, not to justify the act, but um, you know, every everybody has a breaking point, and everybody has a certain. Oh, I limit, like what you, you know did there. That was the intro to the. It, it was. It was. And, like and speaking and speaking of, let's let's talk about the concept video. So, oh, we doing this right now. We're doing it right now, man. We're gonna roll right into it. So <laughs> I didn't think my time was coming this way. <laughs> nah, it's, it's your time, man. I hope I hope you was ready. I hope you prepared yourself. <laughs> 
I'm always ready oh, to hey, talk about hey, myself. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hey, this take it away. Said, Am I ready to talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day. Like, take it away then, man. Let's I'm, go. Bro, first of all, I'm just, before I even talk about me, I just have to address one thing. And I'm going to look at my live when I say this. I don't know who y'all think I am. So I'm going to tell y'all who I am. Like, I am Shino. I, th- that's me. I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. Do not hit me up about no photo shoot if you're going to waste my time. If you're not going to show up, if you're not going to pay your deposit, if you are not going to follow through with your concept, do not inbox me because you're getting blocked. Pretty not niche. just blocked, you're getting the fuck blocked. Like, all the way blocked. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm done with this dumb shit. Yeah. I'm done with this dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> now on to positive things. <laughs> Yo, let them know. Let them know. I just had to put that Try PSA out there, <laughs> bro. I'm sick of this shit. Like it's Don't happened. Name drop. I'm not gonna name drop. I okay. promise. I promise God today I would not name drop today. But next time. Me and God ain't got that understanding. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> I'm okay. just letting it be known. <laughs> on a positive note, on Sunday, I will not just I. I would not be using that term. We as a collective, Alex as well, Sherman, and all the other cast to Severed Ties will be releasing the actual, I would call it a concept video, but I don't think I could call it anymore. I think I really have to call it a short film at this point because it's the runtime is a little longer than what a concept video would be. Um, well, tell them what it is. It's a, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not going to tell them what it is. Cause I feel mm-hmm. like if you tell, bro, you know how these niggas are. Niggas don't want to click links, so if you tell them what it is, they're not it's even true. gonna go watch the shit. Like, so yeah. I'm not telling them nothing. <laughs> what I will tell them though, there's mm-hmm. a lot of upcoming talented people in this video. The video is starring Sherman, so I know how y'all girls love Sherman. It's so. starring though. No, it's starring a lot of people. No, not, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Okay. Sherman is the starring male role. Uh, <laughs> we got my sister from across the water. Jazz is the leading lady, um, and then of course we have other people that is that are in the video as well. We got Joey Peel, y'all know him from the last concept video. We got Raheem Nikkei, who by the way came through in the clutch yet again. What happened? Oh, let's talk I, about. I wasn't going to go into that. <laughs> no, no, let's, now let's, 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 let's talk, talk about, about that. I wasn't going to, but now I'm really let's. curious. Actually, I'm really curious on what happened. Oh, you don't know. No, I'm really Let curious on what happened. Let me flip my hat. <laughs> That's serious. That's like Pokemon. It shit. definitely is. Let That's me tell that, you what stretching. happened. So, yeah, it did. <laughs> bro, I got a big <laughs> head, bro. Like, pause. Pause. Why are you that? Bro, because right? it, sound, it sounded gay. Like, it just sounded gay. It's all good, man. It's like, pause. Look at Jazz. I'm like, please don't do it. No, ma'am. Hey, play the set it off music as I do this. Yo, Yo, make sure in the edit you put that shit in here as I do this. <laughs> No, fuck that, because I planned this concept video out flawlessly. Me and this nigga Sherman, well, I'll say more so Sherman because I'm broke. So (laughs) Sherman went out (laughs) and Sherman bought, I mean, we got whiteboards. We had schedulers. We had all of this shit. Like dates was planned legit two and a half to three months out from actual shooting date. Mm -hmm. Cass knew the dates. Like the cast knew the dates far way ahead of time. I mean, you had time to call out of work. You had time to yo. You got me weak. You, you had time to call out of work. You had time to get babysitters. You had time to get all of that shit. But what happened? Not the day before. Not the day. Two days before. The day of. The day of shooting. Niggas just drop out. Don't even tell you why they dropping out. <laughs> just don't show the fuck up. So we had to audible the day of shooting. I had to change scripts. Nikkei actually said, fuck my script. I'm just going to go off the off my head. And it's cool. It worked. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that was actually there and came through. We have a great project. And all the motherfuckers that wasn't there, don't inbox me or anybody that was on this team saying... Oh, I wish I could have been there. Well, you wasn't. So it's over now. <laughs> and don't inbox me again. Can I get in the next one? No, you can't. It ain't a next one. So therefore, I'm sick of these bitches, man. Like, just make sure. <laughs> I do what I can. No, nah, fuck that, bro. <laughs> make sure y'all tune in on Sunday to see how great of a job everybody who was there did. 
because it's going to be great. It's going to be the best thing to hit Nupa News in a long time, I promise. Sure, I'm cut the music off. I'm done with this shit. Make sure you edit that shit into the fucking video. Oh my God, Joe. I'm crying. Ooh. Look at Jazz. She said, oh my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was a good job. Right? <laughs> yeah, I had to rant, bro. I had to. So, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I've been holding that shit in for like legit I, I can tell. two weeks. I, I definitely like, can tell. Holding it in? Bro, because I wrote the fucking script to a T. And these niggas... Bro. I'm glad I, you said yes. I feel so much better now. I feel so much fucking better. Also, I can't wait till Sunday. I can't wait to see this. Yeah. yeah it's I'm really excited, Sunday. actually. It's magnifico. Yeah, so Sunday, I mean, we got a, um, a rough draft right now that um I have to just make a few changes to but I mean everything's pretty much done for the most part so Sunday and it will be released and what we're doing like 8pm yeah correct? 8pm okay 8pm uh, address will be <clears throat> sent to those just cause you I like I drop my address like no, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> cause I just wanna make this clear just because you got the like the invite notification don't mean you're invited so therefore if you don't get the address you ain't invited just throwing it out there but Back on a positive note, I would okay. like to say thanks. Shout out to Coop Chardonnay, Boris the Lucid, Wes, and Full Metal Parkers, of course, for providing the cinematic music for this masterpiece that we all created together. Um, Coop Chardonnay is just different. Like when Definitely. when he got the songs that I wanted to sample, he was like, bro, don't send me this weird shit no more. But... <laughs> He made magic out of it, so couldn't have been with that. So weird, because he made it fucking work, and it sounds amazing. Um, I just can't wait for everybody to see this shit. And like I told y'all niggas, I'm making this a PSA. If it does not get 500 views that first day, I'm not giving y'all another video. So y'all take the do with that as you please. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm dead serious. I'm not joking. <laughs> no, so. I, I feel that. I feel that. So I'm not going to stay on this topic long. I'm going to say what I have to say, and Uh-oh. then we are moving the subject. Uh-oh. As oh, as as you all may or may not know, the Toronto Raptors, the 2019 NBA champions. Now I'm fucking pissed. All right, I'm pissed because one, we're gonna have to hear Drake talk about this for the rest of his career. I hate that nigga. Two, the Toronto Raptors are getting a huge asterisk next to this championship. I don't care what nobody says. Facts. Going to say would have won this championship and Game Six if they would have won uh, had not Clay go out with an ACL injury. So prayers out to KD. Prayers out to Clay Thompson and. I'm not a hater, so congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. I'm happy for y'all and, and this fan base, but um, fuck y'all, man. Um, that's all I got to say about that. I'm done. Go ahead, bro. Jesus. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just very... Sorry, it's like, I, was, I, I was pissed. Bro. I can yeah, tell. I definitely can tell. Yeah, right I can now. see the flames coming. <laughs> so I have to back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't want you to get burned. You know? it's, I don't know. But, um, well, besides Sherm, how do y'all feel about the, the KD injury? I mean, because that's kind of a big deal. I mean, I the feel situation like he's it, in even after the finals. I mean, I feel like it's part of the game at the end of the day. Like, I mean, I seen niggas is like blaming the medical staff and the all of that, but it's like you can you really blame that? Like, you can't blame the medical staff on that. It's part of the game. Like, niggas tear ACLs every day. Niggas have ruptured Achilles every year. Like, it happens. Like, so I mean. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think it was ruptured. I think he probably could have injured it. Well, no. What a second time. I don't time. think it's ruptured because if you watch the replay, he actually flexed his foot. Right now, he wouldn't be able to do that if he ruptured it. But that's also the same case, like because I called it when it happened to Clay torn ACL. I told niggas this, but he still was able to run and do that. You talking about KD? KD. The yeah. second time or the first time? The second time. No, it was ruptured. They, I mean, the, that's what he said in the post. Like, yeah, he, he had, had to get surgery to. Post to say he has uh, his. He ruptured his Achilles. So he confirmed this actually yeah. ruptured? Yeah. No, it's like, this has been confirmed. It got ruptured and he had surgery for it. That's weird. That's why he out for the I whole year. Him fl- you, did y'all see that? In the- yeah. He sure wasn't moving it with his hand? Because you can move it no, with your hand. No, the- he was holding the back of his leg and he was doing this. I don't remember that. I remember he was sitting there like this and he was like doing this. I didn't see his... Uh, it might have been just the pressure for him moving his leg forward and back. But. Maybe, maybe. I may have saw it wrong. But, no, I but yeah, he confirmed like, uh, it. Yeah, I can't, but yeah, I can't like I tell people, that. like when Clay first went down with the initial injury, like you seeing him run back on the court to shoot the free throws and all of that, like mm-hmm. that, I know from experience that that ACL was torn as soon as he hit 
that court. I knew it. Like yeah, no, you, I seen you definitely it and called I'm like, it. it's done. Like, I wish I wish you hadn't called it. I wish I'm I sorry, wasn't bro. Case, it just it, it was just deja vu. Like I've seen it twice with myself. So I was nah, like, yeah, it's done. I mean, my, my thing about the injuries, man, I mean, that's that's just the game. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it happens. I mean if if anything I mean, Kevin Durant got checked out by multiple doctors, not just the team side doctors. Right, right. He had doctors outside of the organization evaluate him. his his his, uh, his Achilles and his calf, and they said it's just a calf injury. The worst that could happen is he could strain the calf even more, right? And his his Achilles popped. So I mean, it, if anything, it showed tremendous courage and tremendous um, team teamsmanship, if that's a word, from Kevin Durant. I mean, it showed that he wanted to be there for his guys. It showed that he wanted to be on no, the floor. Facts. So if anything, it made me respect him even more. It made me proud to be a fan of the Warriors. Uh, same thing with Clay Thompson. I mean, he tore his ACL. Say all that, but. No, I mean, I, that me. You're not a fan, obviously. But, you know, Clay Thompson came back out, hit his free throws, and, and sat down and told Steve Kerr, he's like, hey, I just need two minutes and I can get back out there. I mean, that's... That's that's huge. It's fighting I mean. spirit. I will yeah. say I gained a lot of respect for Golden State. I do not like Golden State, but I will say I gained a no, little definitely bit of respect for them because. But at the end of the day, mm. y'all these like these niggas that's cheering for Toronto. That's cool, but y'all niggas really let some Canadians come take what's our shit. <laughs> y'all really let that shit happen. Here you go. Like y'all let that shit happen. Y'all really let the Degrassi bunch take oh, what the yeah. fuck is ours. Oh my lord. <laughs> y'all let that shit happen. LeBron would have never let this happen. <laughs> it's Lebronto, right. nigga. It would have never <laughs> happened. He wasn't there, though. It, that's what I'm saying. Ever heard that LeBron if LeBron would have just that. stayed in the no, East, really? I don't know <laughs> why he trying to chase Hollywood and shit. We should have just stayed in the East and just did what we... Anybody. I don't give a fuck if Golden State would have five-peated. I did not want to see Toronto win a championship. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if Kawhi was on the team or not. Well, well, that's not repeating. No, sir. I, I, I want to say this though, at least to wrap to wrap it up for me. I want to say this though to wrap it up for me. Um, overall, I really love the playoffs this season. No, it's um, definitely. I the thought it was most very very interesting because in my my opinions of what I thought it would be in the beginning completely were Facts. like not completely <laughs> off, but a lot of things changed and a lot of things happened that I didn't think would, which made it more interesting and. That was. Were there any it, like clean sweeps in this playoffs? I think one. I want to say the Golden. Yeah. True. And that I think was, Milwaukee. That was the only one. The Milwaukee was gentleman sweep, so it wasn't a sweep. Yeah. So yeah. But but regardless, I think it was a good, it was a good playoff season. Regardless, and um, I mean, I'm not against I'm not against Golden State, but the fact that I thought for sure Golden State would get it. Like even even before the playoffs started, I was like, yeah, Golden State's gonna be at the end, and then they probably most likely, I would say more than fifty percent, more than fifty percent that they would win, and to see that not happen just shows that you can't just predict. No, that's something. a fact. Even no matter how good a team is, they're still beatable. All I'm saying, it's is good to know that LeBron been in his little chamber like Goku, and it's gonna be a different season next year. I'm you think you. so? I know so. You know, so. LeBron ain't had this much rest in how long? Yeah, I think LeBron been having deep playoff runs for like the last nine years. I don't say I hope so. I'm telling you, gotta be disappointed to see. Arrested LeBron is a dangerous LeBron. He ain't, like you got to think this nigga season wasn't ending until June for nine years straight. Yeah, that's like true. legitimately, that's true. Nine yeah. years straight, and if these niggas get AD, it's gonna be a different yeah, season. That's gonna be a different story. It's then. gonna be a that's different like season. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just. I'm Alex, it's okay. <laughs> Zavani sure. actually used to play in the NBA, but he got cut. Oh my God! Chill out. Drug yeah. abuse. Easy, easy. <laughs> Yo, it was a joke. Sheesh. Just tarnished my name. It's <laughs> a joke. What team? What team did he almost play for? Man? What team did he play for? Mm-hmm. Let's not continue uh, this. Let's, let's not continue this. I just, just want to see how far he's gonna go with it. Look at him and tell. You can look at him and tell what team he would have played for. Just look at him. Waves, light skin, gold state. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on! Obvious. Man. They recruit. Here, they recruit every light skinned nigga in the NBA with waves. Like these niggas got. So why Van Vliet on Toronto? Because they didn't think he was a threat like that yet. But watch the pitch. He when really he pissed me the off. Fr- he I know I said I was gonna change topics. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, I'm chilling. Huh? He just. He was like one of the sole people that's pissing me off. Because I think he did that yell in Oracle Arena. I was like, that's yeah. the most unintimidating y'all I've ever seen. I think it's because <laughs> niggas was just hyping it. You like, like a teddy bear screaming. Like for instance, like when niggas was like. Don't get me wrong. Much respect to Kyle Lowry. He's a champion now. 
got to give it to him. But when niggas said that he carried the team, I was like, when and what game? Because right. you can score 27 points. That don't mean you carried the fucking team. Like, mm-hmm. let's also look at his turnovers. Let's also look at the, the lack of defense that kept Golden State in the game directly on the player that he was guarding. Like, so that's... I'm not going to do this right now, but I'm just saying. No, nah, I feel you. Like, this nigga did not carry the fucking team. You Definitely can get that not. to Van Fleet before you give it to Kyle Lowry if you want to keep it a band. And I want to say this because it really kind of bothered me. And I, I do like him regardless. Like, his music, not in person. <clears throat> I hate that in the games, they highlight the Drake. motherfucker Drake. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, he's a star. Like There he's was one game I seen them pan on Drake. Oh, yeah. And literally stare at him for, like, almost a full minute mm-hmm. while the game is it's going It's still on. going, yeah. That make no sense to me. I, I mean, I get it. You know, they're trying to make numbers or something. But the Canadians that bothers now. me. As far as the NBA fan, that bothers me. Them Canadians different. So let's go ahead and uh, switch the subject off. So <laughs> mm-hmm. let's 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 get to the Alex a little bit. Alex, what would you like to talk about? You did my topic Ooh. first. Oh, <laughs> what? Jeez, <laughs> the one about double standards. That was my only suggestion. You don't have another topic that you like to talk about? Wow, Alex. Not Nothing? right now. Disney. No, let's talk about girl talk. Let's do that. City let's... girls? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but we can talk about girl talk. Okay. Because I, I just feel like, and this is just me. Mm-hmm. I know. Why well, am I gonna say I know that China don't do this? Because I don't know. Because it's that's how secretive girls are. <laughs> but I'm just letting y'all fellas know out there. These girls have group chats where if your dumbass is still in 2019, still in, sending dick pics. They all over the fucking place. I'm just, and you fucking know. I learned this from Alex, actually. She told me that this is what girls do. They send dick pics to each other and laugh at niggas all fucking day long in group tech. I learned this from Alex. She told me. True story. Can't make this up. Oh, man. Uh, honestly, so, if like in, anything happens, it's in the group chat. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let me understand this. Y'all like are reviewing dicks on the group <laughs> chat? Hey, yo. <laughs> like, is that what you just <laughs> <laughs> that was an Eric moment. Wait, wait, this dick Giving one <laughs> That was an Eric moment. So y'all like reviewing dicks? What? Like, nah. It was because the way you said you said that they were sending dick it. pics to each other and then they'd be talking about. Yeah, it. they so laugh. Like, like, are y'all grading them? Y'all like, having conversations? Like, oh, he got a little bit of what is that? Like, is that what y'all let like do? I don't know. That's y'all world. We kind of just talk about like sex. Whatever. Size. It's just, Whatever. Just your experience. Me. I just feel like in 2019, you still sending dick pics. You already lost half the battle, King. Exactly. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you already lost half the battle, King. No, that's If funny. your pull up game ain't strong enough, then I, hey, you already lost the battle. No, that's, that's facts. Because knowing how these girls is now, as you're sending a dick pic, they're probably getting dick down. Just. This out there. So I, I also add this in too. I mean, a lot of a lot of dudes don't understand that female. A lot of females actually like dudes as far as mindsets are concerned, yeah. as far as how they operate, how they act. So a lot of dudes might be doing some shit, but the females are doing the shit too. I mean, let's 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 not. I mean, going back to double standards. I mean, this shit does happen. Oh yeah. You know, so don't 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 think that all women are innocent and, yeah. and it's all yeah, that. They like, got and they're not out here hunting because they they hunting. Yeah. They're hunters. You got like they got the advocates. Nicki Minaj is an advocate. Like like I said, this bitch been telling us how squeaky her pussy is for ten years. Like, <laughs> she oh, has. Like, <laughs> she, Cardi cool. still going, and yeah. now you got the city girls and Megan Stallion. That's like, true. You, yeah. they, it's 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 a movement out here now. And like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fun. I was gonna say having <laughs> finding somebody to have sex with is so easy. Have y'all ever had sex to a city girl song? No, no, I haven't. Yo. No. Okay. Wow. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't put God in it. <laughs> God, <laughs> God created the city girl. So all, he all I was going to say was Yo. that like finding six is so easy. It's like grocery shopping now. Yo. Like, oh, it's, 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 yeah. It's like, that's how this thing is. It's like, you like find it what you're looking for, and it's like, all right, I'm talking to this person. You talking and about then, like Tinder and all that just, stuff? Anything. You can do it on Instagram and Facebook. You don't even need for Twitter. Me. You can do it on Twitter if you want to. We're going to forget like Twitter didn't have a whole hashtag at 8 o'clock that was Twitter after dark. Like, right? Twitter, Twitter <laughs> won't even wait until kids is in bed. They just like, fuck it. <laughs> send the dick pics. Send the pussy. Like, send everything. Like, like damn, nigga, it ain't, ain't my bedtime yet. Like, but it's not even like just at night. It happens like. Oh, yeah, all now it's everywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Nothing aggravates me more than scrolling down my Twitter timeline at 2 p.m. in the afternoon at the bank and five people behind me in a fucking pussy just pops up. Yo, oh, my <laughs> I'm just like, yo. I'm just like, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Twitter don't care, bro. I'm just people like, bro. don't care. I'm just like, why? Like, we're, We've gotten to the point afternoon where like, people would do anything <laughs> to go viral at this point. They would yeah. do anything to go viral. I'm just like, bro. Oh, facts. Time and a place, man. I mean, it's the internet. I mean, you can't, you can't expect I mean, yeah, you can't tell it. nobody, oh, you can't put your pussy on the internet. Like, I mean. Let Eric tell it. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> nah, Eric, Eric, Eric knows all love, man. You know, we're just, we're just poking fun. That's all. I'm but sure he'll Eric get a kick said, out. There has to be a standard. standard. Like, oh, has look, there has to be. Look, man, he don't even watch the podcast no more. So he don't watch the podcast. That's crazy. He's not, he's not going here. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> wacko jacko. Like, all right, now. <laughs> My bad. That was dark. Sorry. Yeah. It's all good, nah. man. So, do you want to, um, no, nah, never mind. I ain't going. I ain't going what? No, no, nope. It's already there. Let's do it. No, because I was gonna ask you wanted to talk about your next film that you was gonna do. Oh no, no, yeah. no! Deep. They better run them seven hundred and fifty views up first. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was five hundred. Yeah. 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 That was the only way they get that. They better run five hundred, bro. No, no, no. Yeah. it's five hundred for me to say I'm gonna do the next video. Mm-hmm. Seven fifty for them to get the title and concept of the next video. Ah. Oh, they gonna work for this. I'm tired. Of, I'm not doing shit for free. For you to even say she ain't no bitch, you gonna cash at me. It's simple as that. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I mean, how Yo. You gotta have a, a dollar, standard. Bro. You gotta have that a is my standard. Yeah. That is a standard. A bro, saying my standard. Standard. bro, saying that yeah. you know me, I'm on my Coop Chardonnay shit. I'm not international yet, but saying you know me, that is your life. So therefore, you gotta pay me to say you know me. <laughs> you got to. I feel that, man. You know how many shit. niggas wanna be me right now? How many? Enough. I think no. I was expecting a number. Like I got you, two thousand three hundred eighty-five niggas. That's how many niggas follow me on Instagram. Wow. That's how many niggas want to be. Everybody, everybody. So I definitely, I, I don't want to be. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, here we go. Me. Here we go. I follow you. I'm not. About I don't want to be, be my life. I'm not. I'm just saying I want to be you. I'm sick. Of I'm not ready for three kids. Wow. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not ready for three kids. What is wrong with that? Jesus Christ. What's wrong with that? Jesus, nothing. We're like, all right, all right. I could deal with one, but three? Okay. <laughs> all right. I could deal with one, but three. All right. All right. I, had to, I had to emphasize how much more three was than two. In case you didn't know. Bro, okay, I'm, I'm going to make this PSA while these people on my live. If during this gender reveal of my next child, if it's a girl, I will not be on Facebook for like a month. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not prepared for that news. Um, so if we pop that, whatever boy, Sherman man. comes up with for the general review, it's going to be pink. a boy. If it's pink, there will be no video footage put on Facebook. There will be no live. There will be nothing. I just don't. I don't have another girl name in me. Like, I don't have it. I just, I just don't have it. <laughs> I pulled Kyrie out of a hat. Like, I don't have it. <laughs> I just love Kyrie on Kingdom Hearts and said, hey, Shanae. <laughs> like, no, Shanae King. Queen, not King. I hope it's a King this time. But mm. we'll see. All my friends get all the boys. And I get stuck with the girls. This one's going to be a boy, man. Quan, Shaq. <laughs> it's going to be Everybody. a boy. Trust me. Relax, man. Just, just bring your nerves we'll down. See. It's going to be a boy. We'll see. So I think we have covered quite a few topics today. I think we had a lot of diversity. We, we did have fun. I think we had a lot of good uh, points from the from the female perspective as well. So this was this was definitely a, a good conducive podcast. Um, do y'all have any closing notes that y'all would like to end it on? Anything that y'all want to add? I'll be back. Oh, Alex <laughs> should be back. Alex is actually a very, Alex is a very phenomenal special effects makeup artist. By the way, she did Definitely. all of the special effects for the movie, and she did an amazing job. She didn't know she could do it, but I, she, I know, she that did. Was my she, first learned, time. she learned. She learned it the day of. She learned it the day of. You see how flexible people can be when they apply their fucking selves. Just wow, like, you ain't have to. You ain't have to. Bro, fuck them, bro. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, okay. fuck them. <laughs> If you ain't on Team Shino from this day forward, bitch. You left. Oh my ain't god. Ain't no more. Ain't no more sign ups. Ain't no more tryouts. You fucking left. Mm. Simple as that. Okay. I'm sick of these bitches. You did this. You you gave me this energy today. Let Yo, me turn this fucking this live video. Video. Yeah. I was just saying. Oh, let me turn this live. What, what, what do I do? Yeah. For me, for me sitting here. Yeah. For me sitting here, that's all I did. 
That's nah, this nigga's fault. Yeah, like, exactly. Nah, you, <laughs> that's this nigga's fault. <laughs> we're doing nothing. This is what we're doing now? It's your fault. <laughs> I want niggas to see who did this. It's the whole fault? Okay. Right. It's you. Congratulations. You killed these people. They blood on your hands. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Jeez. This ain't you, bro. It's not that deep. Oh, it's me this now. is exactly him. <laughs> it's not that deep. Exactly me. I'm on my long shit today. I who, said I never see you. Wait, who you made you this way? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Yo, damn, you had a lot of viewers, I bro. I told you the live was popping today. Good job. How many views you got? Let me see. Uh, it was at 97. Uh, that's impressive, man. It's pretty good. You we, we've never there. gotten that many when I do live for the podcast. <laughs> pretty dope. 30 comments. Actually, pretty good. All positive. That's good. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot all of positive reaction from what I saw. <laughs> you think so? I'm talking people like controversy and shit talking. So There's some of his Instagram followers on there, probably. Fuck them, bitch. I hope it is. <laughs> I hope it's one in particular that was up there. Yeah. <laughs> Sick of these. Niggas. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But it's all fuck good. them. It's all good, man. All right, so is that it? Yeah, that's it. Damn, I was, we still recording. No, nah, I was I was scanning through. <laughs> Damn, um, you didn't even say seven five junction. I'm not done, bro. I was saying I was trying so to. So all of that is still on. <laughs> yes. Wait, did we stop recording? No, no, we're not, no, no. We're not done. I'm just I'm just going. So, what I'm gonna do a giveaway again? That's why oh! I, was, I was just finding the item that I was going to oh. give away, on, so I could see the price, I so I could see whether or not I wanted to give it away. Oh, but, true. <laughs> so so this week we're gonna be doing a giveaway for a Amazon. Uh, it's an Echo Tower. So yeah, it's a tower, the uh, second generation one. So it has Alexa built into it. It's got um, audio features built into it. You can talk to it if you're lonely. You can change the uh, <laughs> Philips really. Hue smart lights or anything like that if you want. I mean, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of whack for discussion. You know what's better for that? Huh? Google. Google. I mean, whatever whatever you want. You That's know? The audience but but we we uh we Amazon sponsored up here, not really, but that would be dope. But um we 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 uh Amazon have all Amazon so Amazon. Oh you did? Yeah, <laughs> Amazon's a plug, man. So yeah, Amazon Echo, uh not the not the tower, so make sure y'all are on the lookout for that. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the video uh subscribe on YouTube and share the video. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get it uh enrolled. Um I'll be keeping track and tallies all the names and all the people to share it and I'll do the drawing. Um a day prior to the next podcast episode so next friday so thursday next week y'all will hear who the uh person is that won the giveaway <laughs> bro ted is the ugliest asian i've ever seen in my life yo bro. come on son <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry yo. <laughs> y'all y'all have anything else that y'all want to add i love ted but hey ted don't support black businesses that's all i have to say i'm done I so say thank you for having me up here oh, no I, man i, do, I, I, do I appreciate, appreciate you it. i appreciate yeah. you coming out man and showing love appreciate you too alex uh, yeah, I said I'll be back. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm just saying I appreciate you for, you know, showing face and coming up here. No I problem. definitely appreciate your contributions. Anthony, you got anything you want to add? Silver Pride Junction out. No, nah, that's, that's that's me. You don't really? get to do that. Yeah. That's we're, sharing, we're sharing the mic. <laughs> we're sharing the mic, but we're that's not sharing the closing. Silver Pride Junction out. <laughs>